Hello, I'm Marilyn Alice. I'm going to take you through the stages of painting some donkeys and children on the beach. This is from a photograph that I took of my children when they were little, riding on a beach locally. Well, first of all, I'm going to use the Whopper brush and I'm going to put on a sand wash. So mix up plenty because you don't want to run out halfway through. I'm going to use raw sienna. It's a very, very watered down wash, not a lot of colour. So I want the strong contrasts where the children and the donkeys are silhouetted against the sun. I'm putting a tiny bit of sepia in to that mix to take off the very brightness of the yellow. Because everything is very dark, I can wash from the very back. I can go straight over the donkey's heads because they're very dark and I can then use dry brush marks later. And straight over the chap who's leading them. Also straight over the donkey's legs because they're all darker than the sand is going to be. And just bring that down. By having plenty mixed up, you're not going to mix something again whilst this is drying and then end up with lots of cauliflowers. Well, it looks quite pale at the bottom, so I'm just going to feed in some raw sienna just into little places and that should granulate a little bit and a little bit of burnt umber as well. It just adds interest and breaks up what, the washes that you've put on. Now I've got to let that dry completely and then we can carry on with the figures. At this stage you can think this is a little bit overwhelming because there's lots of people, lots of legs and donkeys. I'm just going to simplify it by breaking it down into each stage. So first of all we're going to paint each person. I use the wash brush and I'm going to mix up some raw sienna for the hair with the first child and I'll just work my way along. So a hint of raw sienna on the top, it's silhouetted so even though that's blonde hair the rest of it, which is in shadow, I'm doing in sepia. Which is really surprising because you always think of blonde hair as being light all over. The colours of the children are a bit sort of insipid and they blend into the background. So I'm going to brighten them up with beachy colours. So for the first one, I'm going to use a lizarine crimson. Just wash that over. I'm also painting back to front. I'm putting in the figures before I put in the sea and the houses and there is a reason for that. As what tends to happen is you end up with very white halos around the figures if you do it the other way around. Now whilst that's drying I'll just make that light there. Some clear water so the light is really hitting her on that side. I'm going to use some intense violet for her trousers. I need that to dry before I can put any dry brush marks in. So I'll go on to the next figure and I'm going to make that red as well. And they just stand out a little bit more by being slightly brighter. His hair too is blonde. I'll just take a slightly smaller brush the all-rounder, a hint of raw sienna on the top of his head where the sunlight's hitting it and then into the sepia again. And then the skin tones that are showing can be light red and sepia. And again, I need that to dry before I can do any more. Just put in a little bit for his trousers. That's just raw sienna. And on to the next girl. Um, she's in a swimsuit, so we're putting her skin tones first. The light red mixed with the sepia. Tiny little bit of face showing, so just a little blob of the light red there. And whilst that's wet, just feed in a thicker mix of light red and sepia. 
There's a shadow underneath there. And some shadow on her arm. And her hair is very dark, so that can just be sepia with a little bit of Prussian blue. Just blowing in the wind slightly. And her swimsuit's dark too. I'll just let all those figures dry completely. So we'll do the M1 whilst they're drying. Light red for the skin tone. He looks very silhouetted. He's really quite dark. Sepia for his hair. And then for his top, a mixture of Prussian blue and sepia. We're keeping it really dark. It's dark here. It's a little bit of light on his shoulder, which we'll just wash out in a minute. Let's take the paint off the brush. And where the light's hitting it, just wash that colour out. And for the trousers, I use Prussian blue on its own. A little bit of lighter there and thicker as we go up higher because that's darker. And a tiny bit of sepia for his shoes. And already you can see him storming along the beach with the donkeys. Now the next thing I'll put in is the saddles and the dry brush marks on the clothes. So a little bit of sepia for some of the saddles. Just really trying to make sense of everything. There's a dark side and a light side. The lighter one I use some raw sienna where the light's hitting this side of the saddle. And now the dry brush marks on the clothes. So with the alizarine crimson, I'll just mix some intense violet into that. It's not too many marks, so just a bit there under the arm and that side. And a few creases just here, and that's probably all we need. And then it's got a dark shadow under the sleeve. Just be careful not to overdo this. And that's really all we need there. 